on cities across the country today to show off their moves. While it's perfectly fine to skate at designated parks, it is illegal to skateboard in downtown Tampa. Underground organizers of Tampa's event didn't hide their intentions to break the law, but police foiled their plans. News Channel 8's Samar Sotis joins us now from Perry Harvey Park in Tampa, the center of today's action. Sam? Gail, of the hundreds of teenagers who are out here today, including a few who are left over right now, only two were arrested. Now you compare that to 15 people who were arrested last year and all these 911 calls made last year, frustrated drivers and pedestrians in downtown Tampa. The difference this year is that there was a very visible response from the Tampa Police Department. I love skateboarding. It's what I do. It's my life. You know, it's a big day. It's like Christmas to us. For most of the hundreds of teens who participated in this cross-country celebration called National Go Skateboarding Day, today was about meeting people, showing off, and learning new tricks. It's just like a train rush, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a good feeling. I like it. At Perry Harvey Park in Tampa, skaters swarmed in what's called the Bro Bowl. It was hard not to notice the difference between this year and last year's event. The millions of cops that are just sitting out here waiting for us to do something wrong. It's like they're everywhere. They got us like surrounded. They could be doing something way more important than this. They could be sitting out there catching murders and rapists and stuff. And they're sitting here at a skateboarding event. In the days leading up to this event, some of the skaters overtly and publicly admitted they were going to break the law and skate in downtown Tampa where it is forbidden. We've learned from the website that they plan on skating from here to a couple of different parks and on some private property. You know what's crazy? Yeah. I can ride my bike downtown, but my homeboy can't ride their skateboard. Yeah. 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 Tampa police say those bothered by their presence often are up to trouble. My feeling is that whenever the police are around, I feel safe. Um, the only people that seem to be uncomfortable around the police are sometimes people that are looking to break the law. After several hours of skating, the group decided to walk through downtown just for solidarity. Let's stick together and be close and stay out of the street, all right? After a stop at the courthouse square, a couple of teens decided to skateboard right in front of the officers. The two were promptly arrested and charged with violating a city ordinance banning skateboarding and opposing police officers without violence. Local skate parks were involved in organizing this event, but there was also information that you could find on some MySpace.com websites, and that's where police found some of this law-breaking sentiment. Gail? All right, Sam, thank you. The two 16-year-olds arrested today were taken to the Juvenile Assessment Center and later released to their parents.